friends, today it's time for strange horticulture. All I know about this is I make plants for people, it's like potions maybe? Grow plants, grow potions, something like that. Let's go. I can figure out how to... Not the button. Ah, trigger, there we go. The streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out at the upper floors so that neighbors can reach across and shake hands or, more likely, exchange un unpleasantries. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants, you may have noticed, need light, and light is in short supply at street level in this town. Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. I cannot talk today. I am so sorry, everybody. Day 1 Friday. Oh, okay, let's look at this in 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 uh, interface. It's quite cute, I'll be honest. I found it, an excerpt on the wo ex elusive wandering blue. Come to the library in Ambleside and I'll tell you all about it. I've even found something on the gilded dendra that might be of use of interest, Simone. PS give Hellebore a good scratch behind the ear for me. Can I give you a scratch? I've done it. What's this? Hello, Victoria Grey. I must have walked past this shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day, surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night I hear whispered voices too faint to hear clearly, coming from the floor above me, but nobody lives up there. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has gotten the better of me. I must find out what they are saying. St. John's Poppy. Uh, I don't think I have that. Do I have it? I don't think I have it. I don't know what it looks like. Is this one? Oh. Ha, ah, here we go. Vibrant petals, uh, bright, bright red. Oh, I didn't want to zoom in. Bright red with a yellow center. Huh. I did it. Plant identified. Yay. I did it. Uh... Oh, I want it to do it itself. Um, hang on, there's a sign for this. Auto labeling. That's what I want. Alright, the will to explore. I have neither the time nor the will. Oh. What's this? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so she wanted me to come to the library, correct? Ambleside. I just saw Ambleside. Here we are. The library here in Ambleside is one of my favorite haunts. Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my passion for unusual plants. Today she's grinning ear to ear and can't wait to, and can't wait to show me what she's found. Oh, lovely. I'm not sure what this is, this is about right now. Um, guess we're not going anywhere else today. What's this? I'm not sure what that is for yet. 
I think what I should do is this. Oh, so I have to do something, then I can explore? Alright. Under me. Uh, can I go back to Ambleside? Well, that was a waste. Hello. Let's get a new, uh... Bloody awful weather out there today. Good for the plants, though, eh? Got a letter for you. Thank you. Oh, we've got more traveling. And then, part of my kitten. Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger. Just as I had come to fear that the wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower, and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall be returning to Undermere soon. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. So, Gosforth. Gosforth is... I just saw it somewhere. There's Undermere. Lutal, Gosforth. I should not have come here. A darkness hangs over this town like an executioner's blade. I feel a dread rising in my chest. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Gilbert Ames. Hello, Gilbert. Something's got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I, I had to take the long way around through the back down through Back Barrow. I never did trust that sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now and I've bought Fennet from the south to trade for Lemon Dandy. Hardly they're worth the trouble when you factor in the extra miles. Lemon Dandy, do I have you? Uh, looks like that one. I think this is Lemon Dandy. No, you're not Lemon Dandy. You're the blue one, so I didn't know what was. Lemon Dandy. Are you Lemon Dandy? Yay, Lemon Dandy. So what did he give me? Lemon... something. Oh, I forgot what he went to give me. Can I see my... I'm wondering if I can see the log. Doesn't look like it. Okay, uh... Put you away. And then you can go away. I need to... Go explore. Uh... A dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to Back Barrow. Where's Back Barrow? Approaching Back Barrow, an, an industrial war emanate, emanates from the ironworks and cotton mill. The blast furnace has a limitless appetite for coal, which is delivered almost daily via the steam railway. I pity the dusty workers of this once peaceful place. I suspect there will be few useful botanical discoveries to be made here. Hmm. Huh. Greetings. My dreams are becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask, and next to her a terrifying black skeletal creature. It stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape, and though I, it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of an expression about its features. Okay, Faye. Not scary at all. It seemed to be laughing. But not the joyous laughter of a child, a sickly horrifying laughter that chilled me like the first breath of winter. These past weeks have been getting worse. I need sleep. What's this? Chat log for Faye. Oh, so can I speak to that guy again? No, I'm not liking how it zooms me in and out if I mouse wheel. You need sleep. Uh, something for sleep. Forest Camphrey. Which was... Say no. I saw it here. It's like this one. 
Yes. Yay! I got it right. Butterdale. Okay. Cool beans. We're doing well. Here's Nora Butterfield. Good, good day, ma'am. Got any wandering blue? That always reminds me of... Oh, what's his name? The old hermit inventor, the wanderer. Anyway, the blue if you've got it. Uh, the girl's on this underside. What if I don't have it? It doesn't look like I have it. What's this? No. I don't have it, I don't think. I don't think it's this. How do I say I don't have it, miss? Uh, girls on this underside on good thingies. I definitely don't have that then. Wandering blue, I'm sure I have some of that here. Oh, okay, so we do have it. I don't notice a different one. So we can hint as well. I'm sure it's one of these plants. Maybe it's this one. What's this? No. That's lemon dandy, so it's not that one. I need another hint. Repeat hint. Oh, I'm assuming it's this one then. Oh, it was that one. Okay. Yay, Lady of Summer. Can we travel anywhere real quick? Beakfoot. Let's check. Let's just pick like um on um, under me. The, ne the streets of Undermere. Oh. I wasted that travel. Done. That was day one. Okay, I'm pretty Papago. I'm pretty bad at this game. So, this isn't good. I think I've just got to get my bearings and then figure it out from there. Oh, we've got to Turo. We started when she found something. Something she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. This is pretty neat. Oh, this is like management shop, but not management shop, and then something else to do. I'm quite excited for that. Isidore Burbridge. Good day. Bring me a sample of Apistemimus. And be quick about it. That damn cat is getting on my allergies. Shouldn't have an animal in the shop like this. Uh, Apis Demimus. I don't think I have that in my book. Sounds a Latin name for my plant. Oh, okay. Thor. Apis Demimus. Oh, uh, Brandy Root. Brandy Root. I think it's this one. Uh, is it that one? Oh no, I think it's this one. Yep, it's that one. Yay! Gandhi root has been identified. And I got a meek Jew. Oh boy. What is this for? I'm not sure what that's for yet. Give my kitty a pat each time. David Chafer. Good day, sir. Like Undermit is looking fine in the sunshine today. Here's your mail. Thank you. Oh boy, we got some traveling. There's an old slate mine at Hard Knot that has some interesting looking fungi and growing in it. I've never never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the damp, dark tunnels left by the tramways. I thought you might be interested. So, old slate mine at Hard Knot, you see? Hard Knot. Oh, here's Hard Knot. Off we go. An iron gate, rusted by years of abandonment, sits across the entrance to the tram tunnel. Rusted it may be, but it won't but Clavillion. What's Clavillion? 
Building to a legend? Is this one? Clavillium. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh my gosh, I s I'm bad. I pressed the wrong one. Ruben Ward. Hello. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest, investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are a secretive lot, and they're not keen to talk to me. Their leader, the Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. My instinct is they're hiding something. Hoping you might have some fox button. Um... Do I have fox button? I think it's that one. Those leaves look like that leaf. Oh no. This one. Yay! I did it. Oh boy. I... Oh, that was close. I was really ready to just give him that one. Victoria Gray. Good, good day, ma'am. I was able to make out the whis whispered voices last night with the help of the St. John's poppy. There's a medium using the room, illegally I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Is there a plant you know of I could use to scare them and scare them, to give them a scare and drive them away? I need my sleep. Harlequin blue. Do I have harlequin blue? Uh, I think I do. Is this harlequin blue? No. That's lemon dandy. Blue flowers, light airy scent. So it could be that one. Well, it could be. No, it's not going to be that one because we've identified that one. Um, Harlequin Blue looks like this one. Oh, gosh. I'm getting the. Right, let's go back to that knot, that mine then. Since I'm terrible at this. Uh... Hard oh, not. It was a triangle. There we go. Let's try again. Pavilion is this one, I believe. No, let me just quickly check again. Pavilion. The heart-shaped leaf has of an. Is this Clavillium? They don't look heart-shaped, so I don't think it's that. Heart-shaped leaves. This one? I did it, yes, let's go. A gate swings open slowly, complaining loudly on its rusty hinges. After a short exploration of the tunnel, I am rewarded. I have gotten three plants to my name. Got myself some fungi. Really excited for this. Alright, let's I need to organize my plants a bit. This is getting a bit out of hand. So we want all the fungi on one shelf. All the fun guys on one shelf. Get it, fun guys, fungi, fun guys. Okay, and then we want all the berry plants together, so move you away. So if I get run out of things to do, I can always well water my plants. Which is good. Alright, berry plants. Let's put you over here actually. Because you're a berry. You look like another fungi, so I'll put you there. Uh, flower plants here. Oh, this is gonna be hard to remember where I put everything. Let's just move them all to the center, because I don't want to keep scrolling back and forth. Alright, let's move you there too. This will do. Alright, we've got some shelvage here. I want to explore, but I want to do this more. Bethany Coleman. Greetings. You may have heard the rumours that our Arda is dead. May Arduina bring her peace. Spirit peace. The nature of her death is unusual. The Sisterhood does not often look to outside help, but this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will allow you entry to the forest. To be assured of your discretion, we re require that you use Mary's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. The waxy leaves. Isn't it this one? Oh, that wasn't Mary's breath. Darn. Uh... Waxy leaves. Oh, um... This one? No, it wouldn't be that one. I don't think it's that one. Get another hint. Oh no, it is gonna be that one. I was right. Here we go. Plant identified. Woohoo! I have another letter. 
We have failed in our duty to... Okay, we'll do that soon. I want to go... I want to figure out this clue. The... What's this about? I'm not sure what this is about just yet, too. So we'll leave that for now. Uh, on the word, northeast corner of the word for gospel. Northeast corner, so here. Nothing here. Gone. Nothing there. Is the door Babbage? Good day. I'm this close to reporting you, half wit. The last plant you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. Butterdale in all meek dew. What's meek dew? Uh, meek dew. Beautiful flowers made up of one of many small flowers. Uh, I don't think that's the one. Um, I don't think I have meek dew. Many smaller flowers. I don't think I have it. So butterdale. Uh, leaves are waxy and tough. I think butterdale's this one. The leaves are waxy and tough, never mind. No, that's not it. This one, no. Butterdale. This one? No. Do I even have this one? So we think we have- oh, Butterdale. Oh, dark green. Dark green leaves. So we have Butterdale. I can figure out which one Butterdale is. This one? No. Gandhi Rooch. Do I have leaves that look like this? Let's get another hint. I'm guessing it's that purpley one. This one? Yeah. There you go, sir. Oh, sometimes this is a little tough. Stor story in. Alrighty, end day. No, we need to explore one more time somewhere. Gosford. On the northeast corner of Gosford Wood. Isn't that it? Northeast? Probably not, I guess. What else we got? Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Back Barrow. So here. The weather changes out. Changes fast out in the hills. What started as a grey morning has turned into a bright sunshine. A good thing too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over. A cloud of unwelcome shade. Yay! We got a new plant. I think this is one of the ones we just got too. I'm not sure. Alright, I guess we end the day. Unless I want to water my plants and explore again. Seems like it will take a while if I wanted to do that. We've got some more fungi looking things. So let's put you up there. End the day. Oh, another tarot card. The, the book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure. And after studying it for some time, she reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it could never be found. North of Hawkshead, east of Lowick. Okay. 